Hello fellow YouTubers, Bear Prepper here. Just got back from picking up my chicken from Zacon Foods. Back of the truck chicken. Pretty awesome. Each one of these is 40 pounds. And uh, the chicken inside is absolutely amazing. I've already pulled out a bunch. Ready? Take a look at that. Look at that. Two days old. Isn't that beautiful? Fresh, not frozen. And we're starting our massive project. We have... Oh, it looks like we're going to do... Because we're going to do some experimenting. Kind of show you why I don't like to do meat and veggies together. But kind of show you what you're going to get. So, what I'm going to do is, besides the raw chicken that you see there, and that's two chicken breasts in a jar. That's why I like to do shredded. I can get more than that in a quart jar if it's shredded. Alright, so what we have over here is potatoes and carrots. And we're going to be putting those in jars, both blanched and unblanched. Over here, I've got my chicken stock going with my chicken. I just put it in it, gonna bring it up to a boil again. But it has, you know, your celery, your onion, your regular chicken stock. And so we're gonna let that cook. We're also gonna do shredded chicken because you know that's my favorite. Here we have our water going to blanch some of our potatoes and carrots. So we're gonna do two jars of chicken raw cubed one sauteed and one not with carrots and potatoes we're also going to do two with just potatoes and carrots and then do some jars of chicken that are just by themselves cubed and sauteed we're going to do shredded chicken and we're going to do a few whole chicken breasts in a jar. I've got 80 pounds to get through. So, here I go. Okay, here's the um, two chickens I did when I was doing my 80 pounds of chicken. This one is cooked chicken with potatoes and carrots. And this one was raw blanched potatoes and carrots with raw chicken and stick the fork in the carrots it goes through really easy this one is I think a little tenderer yeah these are the raw chicken carrots turned out less mushy let me get those out and we'll try the potatoes okay the chicken here this was the cooked and it stayed in cubes. It wasn't completely cooked, it was sautéed. So that's good. The carrots, they're still nice and firm. I stick my fork in gently, it only goes halfway. These are much more firm. Much more. So you could do these in a crock pot without them getting mushy. And then we'll get down to the chicken on this side. And here is the raw cube chicken. Imagine that. We have cubes. Pull one up here. Look at that. Cubes just fine, raw folks. You don't need to saute it. So let's get this in the pot. We made some more chicken stock. This time, we did it in a crock pot. And as you see, there's quite a bit in there, so today would be a great day to make some chicken soup. So I have uh, the chicken soup that I can with potatoes and carrots, and I'm going to go ahead and throw that in there and see what we get. But there you go. When you cook it down, that pot was uh, probably half full, a little more than halfway full, and it cooked down to less than a quarter inch. And then you just spread it out, let it dry, chop it up, add some cornstarch, and you're done. 
So let me get the chicken soup going. And there we go. Leftover chicken bouillon that was in the crock. Look how dark and rich that is. Two jars, quart jars of potatoes and carrots. And chicken. My family's probably sick with chicken right about now because we've been eating a lot of it. Not much left, but this is the other thing we do with the shredded chicken. They have these chicken seasoning packets, which is basically ranch dressing, some fresh peppers and onions, and we made chicken salad with the shredded. Really easy, just mayonnaise, um, green peppers, red peppers, a little seasoned packet or some ranch dressing, and uh, you have a nice meal. And isn't it pretty? Be great on crackers over the holidays, too. So, doesn't matter if you do cooked or raw, you still end up with beautiful cubes. Potatoes are firmer if you do it with a raw chicken than they are if you do it with a cooked. So are the carrots. Better yet, do them all separately and add them as you like. Because carrots cook a whole lot less time, carrots and potatoes, than they do the chicken. And you get a much firmer product, one that you can stick in a crop. And there we go, final results. I added a little bit of my home canned corned beef and homemade corned beef to it. And it's got the carrots and all the seasonings in it. Looks really wonderful. Look at that broth. That's just what was left of the bouillon that I didn't get out of the pot. Whoops. But isn't that wonderful? So... Firm, look at that. Blessings.